Davison here, liveweatherblog.com, overnight edition. Let's go into what we've had today. We had an interesting day with weather today. We were talking about how that we were going to have that uh, short that trough come in and possibly touch off severe weather. Well, we had that today. We had some nasty thunderstorms come through Roanoke and Bedford counties. Um, that came through right around the uh, time of 11 and 12 o'clock today. Um, very high winds up to about 55 to 60 miles an hour. We had trees down, we had power lines down, as you can see on this map. Here's just a local thing, Buchanan, uh, Franklin County out here, Campbell County. There's some reports still not in, but I mean, this whole area got plummeled by uh, wind. And you can see South Carolina, I mean, North Carolina, this is only generating in the last 24 hour storm reports. I mean, you can just see the amount. A storm reports in North Carolina and Virginia. Some hail up near Harrisonburg and some flooding issues out in West Virginia. I'm going to go a little closer in here to uh, where these were located. This is north of Rocky Mountain. You see there trees down along Old Franklin Turnpike. It's about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Buchanan, trees and power lines a little bit later on, trees down 12 to 16 foot hog building roof blown off, 200 foot, 8 inch diameter trees snapped off. I'm sure they're going to look a little bit also a little further into this uh, Pacific um, this specific report into what may have occurred out there, but uh, I, the, the one person who actually was there um, today and saw um, the cloud formations and the structure of the storms today, it was amazing. Um, there was a lowering wall cloud, there's, there's just no rotation in the wall cloud, um, luckily, but um, severe thunderstorm warnings went out well ahead of time and and like I said, it was a very interesting day. A lot of heavy rain, up to an inch of rain that occurred within a couple, inch or two rain occurred within a, uh, 15 minutes throughout the time. So it was pretty powerful today. Here's a national look at the picture. And what did I say? We had that, uh, you know, that line up along the ridge, Blue Ridge Mountains, and we have those wind damage reports, North Carolina and Virginia here. And where did we have tornado reports today? The majority of them? Right in Minnesota. Just like I was uh, stating yesterday about the uh, triple point and the West Jet Stream being the most productive probability in Minnesota, that is where we had eight of the nine reported possible tornadoes today. Taking a look at the severe weather probabilities today, uh, we're going to go into the surface map here shortly, but the slight risk area, Detroit, Michigan, Chicago, Illinois, St. Louis, Missouri, Indianapolis, Indiana, Cleveland, and Cincinnati. Louisville, Kentucky, parts of Iowa, Green Bay, all areas that all have the probabilities of severe weather tornadic activity will be where that triple point meets again, those dynamics, which will be not as high as today, but still a good selection of it near Detroit, Michigan, and around that area you can see five percentile winds also in that area and isolated further back. That was hail, and this wind is 30 percent dial in most of the area. And then there's isolated, probably like the thunderstorms, other places in the east. Sliding into Tuesday, we have, I mean, excuse me, into Monday, not Tuesday. Monday, we have a area back here, Omaha, Des Moines, Chicago, Indianapolis, and then a second area, Burlington, Vermont, New York City, near Philadelphia, Harrisburg, getting close to Boston. This is it. one section. This is another slight risk of severe weather. As you see, the 15 percentile in both areas. The more probable area for tornadic activity and isolated tornadoes, isolated tornadoes would be up here um, in the northern parts of this 15 percentile. And looking into Tuesday, you can see there's a whole area of 5 percentile. Atlantic City, Philadelphia, Roanoke, Louisville, Des Moines, Omaha, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and Cincinnati, Boston. Parts of Maine, Washington, D.C., 
these all areas under it's in a five percent tile, so isolated severe weather will be likely, and this will be along the front also. I'll click close to the surface map and we're going to head into there. We're gonna have that triple point here, slide into to the location of of uh, Michigan here, and this is all gonna to move to the east. And the most likely probable area for severe weather will be in this area and also up in New York and it'll dive down here, which is a little off into possibly as far east as Philadelphia. A little radar for you, see there's a line, squall line at two o'clock, coming back here through Iowa, also some in Nebraska. Further east you can see some thunderstorms out here, east of Greensburg, Pennsylvania, north of Altoona, also some severe weather. These some of these cells, and this is all progressing to the east, and will set the stage for Michigan tomorrow. And looking at the northeast view, you can see this line breaking apart here. Scattered thunderstorms in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, some in the Massachusetts. One area to watch here would be down here um, for disturbed weather. East of the island, upper level system here, a lot of dry air. East of Florida, northeast of Florida, and the front pushing off and some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the east of Japan. And taking a look at the forecast here, 72 tonight, partly cloudy. 30% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, 90 degrees, 92 on Monday, 91 on Tuesday, 93 on Wednesday, and continuation in Thursday and Friday with temperatures in the 90s. We're going to be under a nice heat wave for a while here, and the low is going to be around 70 degrees each and every single night. So we're going to get into this heat wave here in the Roanoke Valley, and uh, I would stick with liveweatherblogs.com through tomorrow with information on the severe weather that may break out in the area of Detroit, Michigan tomorrow. That's going to be the prime area for severe weather. Other than that, we're looking at some uh, hot weather coming in for the east, and the tropics are primarily calm. So this has been Dean D. Davison for liveweatherblogs.com overnight edition. I hope you found this information informative and the forecast informative for the Roanoke Valley. Uh, we are also going to keep an eye on that one report in uh, Virginia and see if I can aim, dig up any more information on that about the severe weather out in Campbell County, in uh, Charlotte County. Other than that, this is Dean D. Davison. My next blog will be sometime during the day tomorrow. And once again tomorrow night for liveweatherblogs.com, which overnight edition, work week, edition which will go into your work week starting next week. This is Dean D. Davidson, liveweatherblogs.com, Super Meteorologist. Have a great evening and a great Sunday.